like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with some new content. This video features Janae. Janae actually went live in response to Solar's live. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Not watch none of this shit because it's like, you know, this shit hurt, bro. Honestly, bro. Niggas try to play me, bro. Like, play my whole life. This shit crazy, bro. No, I, I, I feel like I was doing so great, you know what I'm saying? Like, building myself back up and shit like that. But I feel like I was doing much, much better, yo, when I was on my two-month hiatus and I was just working and not paying attention to nothing on social media. My, my Instagram was down, everything. Like, if I just go on other platforms like TikTok and YouTube and build myself up over there on doing my businesses and shit, I feel like I can get some shit done, but... All day, I was worried about the wrong shit today. All day, I've been worried about the wrong shit. All day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real and honest with myself and being transparent with my community. I don't feel like being on here no more. And I'm doing my affirmations. I'm doing my prayer. And I'm going to keep doing that and stuff like that. But I don't feel like... I got it. Whatever. I got to stop, like, um... Watching this shit. This shit's, like... Sorry, um, it's taken taking a toll on my emotions and shit. So, you know, I'm gonna just say my piece and then I'm gonna just get off and fuck it. Like, you know, I'm gonna build somewhere else. I'm gonna build possibly my YouTube panels. I know I want to be. Janae, I really hope that you do not get off IG because your brand is there. It's a way to connect with your community and your clients. I don't think it's a good idea for you to stop doing what you have been doing. You've built up a lot of momentum and you have a lot of supporters on IG. I mean, they might follow you to YouTube. Who knows? You no, know, possibly my YouTube panels. I know I want to be doing like more of those and TikToks and shit. So it's going to force me to jump into that. But, you know, every time this nigga say something about me that comes out his mouth, it just makes me just want to go away, bro. I feel like I have an egg on my face, and I feel like a fucking clown, bro. I have a whole fucking clown face, bro. And, it's, and I'm not here to bash nobody. I'm just saying how I feel. And... And letting it go and, and and possibly gonna do something for me and my child. How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? Because I cannot believe that I gave my energy to a nigga that was telling me all this shit in the DMs and all this shit when we get together, even on his birthday when I was in the cult. Tell me all this shit, how he loves me and stuff, but then he goes on lying and front on me so hard, bro. I swear to gosh, yo, I swear to gosh, if I can go back if I can go back in the hands of Tom. If I can go back, yo. The hands of Tom. Now, Janae, I know that you feel hurt. And I know that you feel like Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. Played the fuck all over and up in your face. But... You need to get yourself together and stop allowing him to hurt you. This should be the very last time that you cry or feel this much emotion as it relates to what he says or what he does. 
You need to continue to heal and move on with your life, ma'am. grateful for her but oh my god this shit pissed me off bruh so bad and I'm not gonna have nobody pay me for a fucking fool my nigga what the fuck is this Courtney this was back in 2001 I keep my motherfucking receipts in, in case a nigga try to play me fuck you talk about Talk about, oh, you never said, you never wanted me. You never said you, you wanted to take me. Oh, no, nah, bro. What's this? It's called telling me that I'm hard-headed and, it, and I'll never give up on you. Fuck you talking about. You will have many of my children. Fuck you talking about. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you, tell, nah, nah, bro. I'm tired of these niggas, bro. And then I'm off. Then I'm off. I know you belong to me. I'm I am oh, I'm lonely, but I like being alone. I need you to be with me. One, I'll be patient. All right, now I'm gonna have to run that back. Y'all know I love a good receipt. And I'm not gonna have nobody pay me for a fucking fool, my nigga. What the fuck is this, Courtney? This was back. I went ahead and did us all a favor and zoomed in so that we could really read the receipt, y'all. Courtney, this was back in 2001. I keep my motherfucking receipts in, in case a nigga try to play me. Fuck you talk about. Talk about, oh, you never said you never wanted me. You never said you, you wanted to take me. Oh, no, nah, bro. What's this? It's called telling me that I'm hard-headed and it, and I'll never give up on you. Fuck you talking about. You will have many of my children. Fuck you talking about. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you. Talk, nah. Nah, bro. I'm tired of these niggas, bro. And then I'm off. Then I'm off. I know you belong to me. I'm I am oh I'm lonely, but I like being alone. I need you to be with me. One, I'll be patient. Fuck out of here. Playing in my fucking face, bro. Fuck out of here. Next. Since you wanna and I and I watched this live and I was sitting here, yo, I swear I thought I was for a second I was getting happy, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed those receipts and were able to see them, seeing as how I zoomed in and also I removed the channel name and the little subscribe button so that we could really see these receipts, y'all. Now let's continue on with this video. Be sure to drop me a comment, y'all. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. You won. I'll be patient. Fuck out of here. Playing in my fucking face, bro. Fuck out of here. Next. Since you want and I and I watched this live and I was sitting here, yo, I swear I thought I was for a second I was getting happy, y'all. I and I I'm sorry. For a second I was getting happy. I'm like, yo, he's taking accountability. This is something I've never seen. Even though he's apologizing to T and never apologized to me for the shit. I'm like, yo, at least he talk, he's taking accountability, bro. Oh my God. Like, this is some this is some new shit. Oh my God. I'm getting happy. He's sitting here. He's getting a job. Get Amazon. Everything. I'm like, yo, Amazon is fire. I was going to get Amazon too, but when I came to my mom's house, I went another route. Like, I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, this nigga getting all his shit. But when he brings me up, it's always some bullshit, some lie. Talking about, oh, I, I never got to know you. The fuck you talking about? All you do was talk about yourself. You never got to know me. Oh my God, I swear to gosh. Hold on. Look, Janae, I ain't even finna hold you. 
But all I'm going to say is, you allowed Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. to treat you the way that he does. You allow it. You need to fix that within yourself so that you don't repeat this cycle. Stop resisting me. Get yourself right and come back. Like, like you never told me to come back to you. Multiple times. And that's why I can't... You know, man, man. These niggas try to play me, bro. I don't got time. I, I got time for them today. I got time. I got time. Because I got receipts. And I always got fucking receipts, bro. You're not going to play me. We have a daughter. And she, and she portals through Zoka. What? So love was our daughter too. When I was telling you that I seen that we had a daughter in the in my dreams. But and that's the only thing and this is my thing about this whole situation and I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to get off fucking Instagram and stop watching and all this shit because this shit pisses me off, yo. And it and it makes me upset and not, and not it doesn't just make me upset, it fucking hurts. To Go through pregnancy to lose all my confidence within myself, to go through a body change, to really just be stripped of everything that I ever was and am for a nigga. Who said that I never, I never get to know him, but what? Who, who said I, I never knew, never what 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 the fuck are you talking about, bro? As soon as the cult leader said, "Oh, to love somebody, you need to study them," I studied you like a fucking hawk. And then when we you all you did was talk about yourself, all I did was fucking listen. You know what? And it is what it is. It is what it is. Hold on, since a nigga wanna play me. Hold the fuck on, bro. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance. This makes me honestly, without the emotional shit, y'all, this makes me honestly not want to deal with any fucking nigga a day again in my life. Because it's like, you saw the screenshots, these niggas would say anything just to get you and then play in your fucking face, bro. Give you a whole daughter. Give you a whole child. And and play in your fucking face. This shit, this shit pisses me off, bro. Because I know I'm not no fucking obsessed ass bitch. I thought the love was mutual because it it apparently through the text messages and the phone calls and all the shit that we was doing online for the through the years. But you and Velvet been together for years, right? No, you haven't. You've been talking to me for years, on and off. But yeah, I don't know you, and yet we you don't. You never called out to me and never wanted to be with me and all this other stuff. You you kept denying me. No, you kept pushing me forward. You kept pulling me back in, my nigga. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Talking about, oh, I've been together with another nigga in 24 hours. When? When? Was it a cult leader that you pushed on? You really literally pushed us to? And never saved us from? When we came to be with your ass? Wake the fuck up, bro. I'm 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 tired, bro. I know I'm not. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex Carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self development and growth. This book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm never going to stop talking. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. But uh, until I can't go no more. And right now, I'm I'm feeling really, 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 really tired bro and i'm like yo i've been healing i've been working on myself ain't no way i'm gonna keep watching this shit i need to do something i'm gonna do so i have to do something drastic i'm gonna have to delete my instagram a fucking game bro this i have to i really have to focus on myself i really have to focus on my businesses i have to focus on my daughter i have to focus on my life this is not healthy for me bro I, i'm 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 because i'm losing it listening to this nigga i'm like bro what are you fucking talking about 
Well, everything you're saying Velvet did for you, I did. Everything you say Velvet thinks uh, gets you, I got you. I, I don't even know what he's talking about when he's talking about, oh, um, you're telling me how I am. Da, 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 da. I would tell him how I'm feeling. I feel like he's feel like I feel something. Something. Okay, it's unfortunate, but you may need to take a step back from IG because if you're going to allow Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. to trigger you to this extent, then you don't need to see when he goes live and you don't need to hear what he's going to say because, Janae, I'm telling you right now, this is just the beginning, okay? So you need to get ready for what's to come. You need to be prepared. Different from what he's saying. I feel something different when he's saying. First he would say, oh, yeah, you know me. You were you able to read me. Now it's, oh, you would never know how to read me. Da, 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 da. It's crazy, bro. Well, hold on, bro, because... Y'all got me fucked up. I'm the and I, and the thing is the reason why I'm getting I got so f- mad about it is because it's not just him. It's been niggas for years been trying to play me online, bro. I'm, I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it, bro. And I let and I allowed it. I allowed it. I allowed it. The, the, these niggas to go back come back back in my life. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Fuck what you talking about. Hold on, guys. This situation with Solar. Is sending Janae to a special place. I'm telling y'all, she and I don't give a fuck land right now. Fuck what you talking about. Hold on. Because I keep my fucking receipts, bro. Hold on. We going, we, we going back to a year ago. When you first came to me. When we got together. A year ago. Nothing in return. I've given her nothing in return for you. And she gave me more and more and more love. And I thought it was bad. I thought it was wrong. And then one day it broke. And one day I snapped. And I realized that the she's, you know, she's love. You know, she's love. And I learned from her. And I, if I don't listen to her, the universe proves her right. Like, just like a day later or a couple of days later, I'm like, fuck. Oh. She's like, I've learned, you can ask her, I've learned to just accept when I'm wrong, be like, all right, you're right. Yep, she's the best. Got it. All right, she's right. She loves me because she'll never give up on me. I love her. Um, that's not why, but I love her and I'll never give up on her. She loves me. She never give up on me. You know what I mean? She gives me back to me. And she makes sure that I love myself by showing me all the best parts of myself at all times. So she fills me with my own love. I hope you all can find somebody who does that for you. I'll do that for you. You know what I'm saying? But love is ready to meet you when you're ready to meet it. And I wasn't ready for many years and she wasn't before me. So when I stepped into love and I became love, that's when we were able to unite. And that's a wrap. That's not why I fucking rap. Oh. Oh, hold on. We gotta we gotta say that. We gotta say that again, y'all. Hold on. Well, yeah, it's a whole fucking video, by the way, on a, on our Love Lotus YouTube page. Oh, they, since, since. I ain't even finna hold you, Janae. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you're doing too much, babe. You're doing too much. Like, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., is not even worth all this extra. And another thing is, I think everybody has seen that video. Everybody has seen multiple videos in which Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. was loving up on you. There's plenty of video footage out there. So, like I said, you're doing too much. It's already out there. And what's understood does not need to be explained. Don't forget that. Coming together wasn't just about money. Because it wasn't about money. It was about purpose. Calling. We made a Love Yoda's YouTube page together. Something that they try to do. Try to copy off of. Right? I'm going to hit these y'all with these receipts and then I'm going to go. Because I don't got time for these trying to pay me on fucking line. 
the fuck you talking about? And yes, I am going to hold my fucking crown up. What are you, what are you talking about, bitch? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be having nobody out here trying to play me like I ain't this shit. And they, and they wasn't bowing down to my ass and kissing my ass to be with me. Too. So what the fuck you talking about? Like, nah, bro. Nah, they, they got me fucked up, bro. I'm sorry. They had me fucked up and I had to, I had and I had myself fucked up and that's why I've been and that's why I kept going going back to his ass. I might have been emotional, that's why I cried and I you know, whatever, but you know, it is what it is. It had to come out. I didn't even know I was gonna cry and shit, but that shit had to come out. Like, nah, nah, yo, no, no. He not gonna be keep doing this. No one's gonna keep doing this to me. Bigging up another person and not seeing the value I bought, bro. You gonna see it today. <laughs> you gonna see it today because you said it. Hey, 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 So why do you love me so long? This is the only person that's been through me with thick and thin food. The only person who's loved me more than anyone else. I've never felt more admiration, appreciation, love from a person other than her. Never. I have never felt it. Just I've never seen it. There's nobody that looks at me like that. There's nobody that, that listens to me. There's no. All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. Nobody that loves me. There's nobody that, that really, really cares about doing things for me and wanting nothing in return. I've given her nothing in return for years. And she gave me more and more and more love. And I thought it was bad. I thought it was wrong. And then one day it broke and one day I snapped. And I realized that the she's, you know, she's love. You know, she's love. And I learned from her. And I, if I don't listen to her, the universe proves her right. Like, just like a day later or a couple of days later, I'm like, oh. She's like, I've learned, you can ask her, I've learned to just accept when I'm wrong. Be like, all right, you're right. Yep, she's the best. Got it. All right, she's right. She loves me because she'll never give up on me. I love her. Um, that to me, and she makes sure that I love myself by time, so she fills me with my own love. I hope you all can find somebody who does that for you. I'll do that for you, you know what I'm saying? But love is ready to meet you when you're ready to meet it. And I wasn't ready for many years, and she was it before me. So when I stepped into love and I became love, that's when we were able to unite. And that's a wrap. So, there you have it, my nigga. Like, you not finna play me up in this bitch. You not. And I'm gonna have to keep doing my healing in private and stuff like that. I just, I, this social media shit is, I didn't even realize today that it, it's taking a toll on me, but now I'm 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 being really honest with y'all. Like I'm not I don't know if I can do this, bro. Keep I I've I'm really trying to push myself and and have my business go out there and you know take myself to the next level, start my dreams, push myself out there. But there's other platforms I could be on. I don't know if I can do this Instagram right now. I could possibly stay off for it for a while but i need i need to push myself i need to go to extremes sometimes and delete the app delete my page just so i just don't feel tempted to get on it you feel me because watching this his shit be like pissing me it'd be like yo what is you talking about my nigga like please please get your get it together and get out of the lulu land like i wasn't the shit like you never wanted to be with me like you, you like saying, talking about, oh, you're pushing, you're telling people you keep pushing, you're doing that to appeal to fucking velvet. That's what you're doing that for. Let's just be honest and transparent and real here. 
You're doing all this shit talking down on me to appeal to Velvet so she can take your ass back. Because you know with me, you're going to have to fucking grow. You feel me? Because watching this his shit be like pissing me off. It'd be like, yo, what is you talking about, my nigga? Like, please, please get your get it together and get out of the Lululand. Like, I wasn't the shit. Like, you never wanted to be with me. Like, you, you like, saying, talking about, oh, you're pushing, you're telling people you keep pushing. You're doing that to appeal to fucking velvet. That's what you're doing that for. Let's just be honest and transparent and real here. You're doing all this shit talking down on me to appeal to velvet so she can take your ass back. Because you know, with me, you're going to have to fucking grow. Y'all, I had to go on ahead and run that back. Before I made any comments, I had to run it back. I believe that Janae is partially correct here. Yes, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., is down in her to impress Velvet in hopes that Velvet will take him back. However, the second part, that he just wants to be with Velvet because he knows with her he has to grow... Janae, you need to stop. Solar wants to be with Velvet. It's not about a growth thing. He actually wants her. You're going to have to grow. You're going to have to evolve. You're going to have to change. But with her, you don't probably don't have to even change that much. Because she will do, deal with you. For what? Finances. Okay. Someone who actually really loved your ass. Me. It was not all about finances for me. The public made about more than fi- a lot about finances than more than I did. But you know what? I, when I started to make it about finances, when the daughter came around, my daughter came around, and you was playing in my face, hurting me continuously, like it was clockwork. I'm tired of that nigga, man. I'm. I, you know why I'm. T- no, you know what I'm tired of. I'm tired of the tomfoolery and the bullshit being produced online and talked about and shit online when all that shit is all cap is lies it's cap lies so i know i'm above all this but there's sometimes we we're human bro we're human i'm sitting here feeling a stinging on my arm like a really bad a a freaking stung like like something this is fucking energy burn. Oh, God. I, and I, it makes me so angry because it's like, yo, what is you talking about? Like, for years, like, when when I when you reached out to me, when I left the situation, you reached out to me. Regardless if you was with Zoka or not. The times that I came, you wasn't with Zoka. Ever. You wasn't with Zoka with the times that I came. Except for the, the, the first time, which I didn't even come to the cult. Or I come to the, the situation for you the first time. I came to be with the family. The second and third time I came for his ass. And he wasn't with Zoka. But you know what happened? Nature Boy put... Excuse me. The cult leader put them together as soon as they found he found out that we're talking. And manipulated the situation to where, oh... He made a little bit of the situation so I can get, get back to the situation so he can use me for content and clout and everything like that. For his views to go up, for his finances, money to go up. Because I do numbers, my nigga. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True. Many of you know him as True. He is an ex-Carbonation member and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. And that's it. I wanted to post that. I wanted to clear that up. And I feel like I'm doing too much, bro. I feel like I'm doing too much. And I feel like only the only, this 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 making me upset because I have a daughter involved with this. I have a, a child, and 
I'm doing my best. I'm really doing my best, taking my, my steps to healing and everything and growth and everything like that. But when I see stuff like that and I hear things like that and I hear the lies and I hear the manipulation and I hear um, him trying to put a narrative on my life that's not true, like like he wasn't after my ass, like he wasn't texting me, making foo-foo fave pages after me every time I try to leave and go heal. And and forget about his ass. He's come, trying to get me back in. And I will allow it because I actually cared about him. And now we have a daughter and you're going to say, oh, uh, and you're bigging up the other person like she's the empress and I ain't. I'm a motherfucking goddess, bro, and I'm an empress. Don't fucking play in my face, bro. Don't play in my face. That's something you're not going to do. You're not going to degrade me and devalue me online anymore. If anything... If I do it to myself, that's me doing it to myself. But you not finna call me out to be a liar, a uh, uh, a person who's inconsiderate or inc- is not pa- compassionate. All these things, you're not gonna do that to me, and you're not gonna devalue me like I ain't no empress, and she is. The fuck you talking about? You sitting here talking about you listening to readings, you doing all these online readings, and you miss and you misinterpreting. It. You you don't understand your though how you can. You don't even understand your life, bro. You don't understand your life. So you go online and you go and go on YouTube and you listen to readings and stuff like that. But you're sitting here misinterpreting your readings. The empress is me, bitch. I'm an empress. Don't get that fucked up. Don't get that twisted. All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. And it's the first time I ever call him outside his name, really. But I'm 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 really upset, bro. I'm so upset to the point I'm like, nah, nah, y'all not finna play me. Y'all not finna play me. He's not finna play me. I can't I, I checked Velvet earlier. She not finna play me. None of y'all finna play me. Cause I've been real from the jump. I've been genuine from the jump. Y'all would have the ones with the ill intention ill intentions and, 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 and hidden motives. I don't got time for that. Hell no. Period, poo. Any fucking way. Any who. Anybody can get this smoke. Anybody can get this energy right back. Because I I don't like it, bro. And I've been feeling it. And it's on my... Mm Mm-mm. And I allowed it in, bro. That's what it is. I allowed this energy in. I'm sitting here listening to his life, thinking that he changed. He's he's growing. He's evolving. And he might be doing that for the next woman. And that's something I'm going to have to just accept. And that's it. And go and move on with my own life. And move on with my way. I'm really happy to hear you say that, Janae. That you really need to move on with your life and move on out the way. Because Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., He's not interested in building any type of relationship romantically with you. And don't get me wrong. I know it hurts. It hurts because you definitely feel that he's misled you with all of the messages. Hell, he said it to your face that he loved you. So I understand the frustration. But like I said, that's the best thing that you've said this entire life, girl. And that's it. But when it comes down to, to growth, I'm going to have to see it and not hear and not just see the talk and not just hear the talk. Because, yes, you can see text messages and voice memos and fucking phone calls. All that can be there, but there needs to be some actions, boo. Actions. I told you what I wanted. You telling the public that I never told you what I wanted. I told you what I needed. You're telling the public this, telling the public that. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And to my 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 following and to my community, I apologize. Y'all don't ever want y'all to see me like this, ever. But I feel like I'm human and I'm a woman. I'm going through postpartum. I'm seven weeks. I fucking am walking to 30 fucking minutes to work to come home to a beautiful baby girl who's you know, be up. She be up sometimes, and I don't. I don't. And I'm barely getting sleep nowadays. She's sleeping, and I should be sleeping with her. 
And these are not excuses that I need to stop. I'm not making excuses for myself. I'm just telling y'all what it is. Please understand, my community, I love y'all, and I've been doing the work, and I'm still doing the work, but this right here, there's a tolerance that I have. There's a tolerance that I have, man. A tolerance. And you know what? If he's if he really intends to grow and evolve and love, be that. Go ahead and do that. I really, really wish that nigga the best. But I'm not gonna get played, bro. That's what one thing I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna be doing online. No one's gonna play me online, bro. No one ever is gonna play me online again. Ever again. This is the play that I feel so played because I have a child now. From a nigga that said he never really was was into me like that. Would he just gave me a chance? Nigga, please, my nigga. Like, please. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. I feel so played. My nigga, I feel so played. Y'all, I'm really confused because Janae is acting like this is the very first time that Solar has gone live and disrespected her. This is not the first time. I mean, what? She's super offended now because he said that he never really cared about her and he gave her a chance that's probably what triggered this but to be honest Janae you're better than this shit you're so much better than this man I feel so played in the times that I sh- I wanted to leave his ass alone I should have left his ass alone now I'm not gonna say should have could have would have cause I now I have a beautiful daughter and I'm grateful for her so thank you God for the beautiful daughter but Jesus Christ learn y'all if you don't learn it from me please learn it for yourself don't be like me in this situation don't keep putting yourself inviting somebody back in when they say they want to come back in please allow yourself to please allow yourself to see it and not just hear it I lesson fucking learned, bro. I believed in a relationship that wasn't shit from the from the jump from another person, bro. Talk about oh, I don't know him, my nigga. I know I feel like I know him better than he knew himself because he couldn't see himself. I was I saw him clear as day, and he didn't want to look at himself. That's why he want to be with Velvet because he get to be whoever he want to fucking want to be. On the real, bro. On the real. I'm not even like pressed over him. I'm I'm just mad that I was played. You don't even get mad that you you if you ever get played, you don't like that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I can have any bro. I was fucking with Prince York. I was fucking with Yada. I was fucking with I think like other niggas like, oh my god. And and I left multiple niggas think cause I can't think about this nigga. Wanted to be with this nigga. He's calling. He's texting me on full full pages and shit. Like, come on, like, my guy, my guy. You acting like I ain't, ain't desirable, boo. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, bro? Yo, yo, you acting like I ain't the ultimate woman. Like, I ain't the ultimate wife. Like, these niggas got me fucked up, bro. And that is this me. This is why I'm doing this. I, and I and I feel like I'm getting more and more, moving more and more into a a powerful state as I'm saying this. I'm the shit. Talent, more talent than these fucking bitches in my left fucking thumb. It's the right thumb, but you know what I'm saying. I gotta big myself up because after seeing that. That can really hurt a bitch. Yo, that could really hurt somebody. Yo, y'all not y'all not hearing me, bro. That that hurt me. But I'm I gotta do this for myself. I gotta big myself up and get into my lion energy. That's all I feel is segment right now. That's all I feel is segment right now. I swear to God, that's all I feel right now. I'm channeling segment energy. I'm channeling it because I'm like, what the fuck? You got me fucked up, bro. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., better chill the hell out. We got his baby mama, Janae, over here channeling cinnamon energy, she say. (laughs) 
<laughs> the fuck, man? Oh my god, I'm so I'm so excited for when the guy that's for me come in, bro. I ooh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it because Azuli deserves better. I deserve better, bro. Azuli deserves someone who's not gonna play in her face, bro. And big up another and big up another try another child in front of her. Nah, bro. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're not gonna do that to my baby girl. No, no, no. Stop comparing yourself to other women. My nigga, stop telling him, tell him to stop comparing me. Because I me, I never had to compare myself to any other fucking woman. I know that we're all goddesses. I know that we all have our own different thing, our own different niche. Tell him to stop doing that. And I'll stop doing that. Because he keep comparing me to the, no, the, next, the next one. And the next one. And the next one. It's going to be uh, with him. It's always going to be someone else. It's, I'm going to be. Uh, I was never a first choice. I was never a first choice. It's, it's always going to be another person. It's always going to be another bitch. Another woman. Excuse my language. I don't even call them bitches like that. This is, this is out of my character, bro. I do not call women bitches like that. Like, oh. There's always going to be another woman. It's always going to be something something else. And that's something I had to understand and realize. And I don't deserve that. It's always going to be something else. Because it always was something else. And any any woman that's going to deal with him is going to be another It's going to be another situation. It's going to be another situation. I'm hurt, bro. I'm hurt. This is me. This is Janae hurt. Congratulations. You got it. You got it. You wanted it. You wanted to hurt Janae so bad. Okay. Gave you narcissistic supply. Shit. You're in your role of self right now. Okay, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. If that's how you feel, okay. But what I will say is I'm going to rise above it. I'm going to rise up. I'm not perfect, bro. I'm not perfect, but I'm real. I'm real. And I'm being raw and real right now. These They got me fucked up, bro. And, um... I'm going to continue to work on myself so I can be a wonderful person. Just today, I'm telling people like, yo, tell me about myself, bro. Tell me about myself. So, I, he wrote, so that's so crazy. The same shit he was on. Tell me about myself so I can be a better person. Cause I'm- All right, y'all. Going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. I'm not trying to be out here looking stupid or look dumb i'm not trying to out here be a bad person i really genuinely want to be a better better person i want to be a good person so if i have any character flaws please tell me please let me know i'm looking through the comments and i'm looking through these things and i'm like yo i'm gonna take accountability for everything i want to know what's going on and these people on my, these people on my on my pan on, on my there's people on my post today still Right now, from the post I had earlier, commenting and arguing and all this other stuff and t- saying their opinions. And I'm like, I'm taking it all in. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But do you see it from this perspective? Do you see it from that perspective? These people don't get the timelines, my nigga. They, they, everything is fluctuated and fucked up because all they're doing is seeing videos online, but they don't know the timelines throughout the videos. So I'm here to clear things up. I'm here to give clarity. Clarity. Cut all the bullshit. Let I was blind, but now I see. Okay, clarity. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let's see, you know. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I, I broke. I broke. Because. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, child. You exploded. You exploded on his ass today on this in this live. You didn't break. You exploded. Because I believed in something and I believed in someone so bad to the point where I stopped believing in myself. To the point where I've just started, like, giving so much of myself, thinking that uh, the belief in our love will, like, stand it, withstand it, the, the test of time and and, and make, make a change in the world. 
I've been gave up. I've been, I've been, I've been released him. I've been let go. But when I saw what he's still saying and stuff, and I had the receipts that said otherwise, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to do that. You're not going to be out here making me look like I'm some kind of undesirable clown. Like, I'm I'm like, um, just so obsessed with you. No, 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 no. You was obsessed with me too, buddy. You couldn't leave me alone. You couldn't stop making foo-foo pages to reach out to me. You kept saying, I belong to you, and I, I you, we have many children. You wanted me to bear your seed, which I did. And I, get, and I prayed for this baby for both of us, because you begged me for it. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that here, buddy. But anywho... Anywho, y'all, it's like people are just, all right, man, Uh, hey, it is what it is. People won't understand unless they get themselves in a situation. It's like people are saying, always saying, oh, I could never. You don't know until it's you, bro. You don't know until it's you. But you know what? Don't let it be you. I pray y'all learn from me. And if I look like a clown and a and a and a stupid girl and a and all all this other stuff, all uh, oppressed girl, obsessed girl, whatever, learn from me, and don't be like this, if it, if it's so bad. But if it, if you see something good and positive in me, also learn from that as well. I'm showing you the real and raw. Y'all will have any opinion. Y'all can y'all can have any opinion. Y'all can have whatever it is. But I want y'all to see this. This is real. Anyway. I'll, I'm going to go. Because like, I'm not going to get warped up and keep on reading negative comments i can't i can't do this this shit is so tiring bro. I, I know why kendra and aaron's offline now because every time they would get online people would bombard them with comments and you know then they would go on panels and people would still misunderstand them still toss stones at them still still do that and they was happier offline and i feel like i was too bro. And I'm, I really want to be who I'm supposed to be. I really want to start doing my music. I still, I still want to do my music. I still want to connect with my community. I still want to do all these things. But I just feel like this shit right here is too much. It's too much, bro. It's too much. I And I'm still learning to control my emotions, bro. I was so I was mastering it. I was so good at it, but it's some it hits different when you have a baby daddy doing this to you, bro. Everybody, it's so easy for everybody to tell me what to do online. It's so easy for everyone to just be like, just block him, just do this, just do that. It's so easy for y'all to say. But when you're going through this shit, and then you have this big case, then you have a beautiful, beautiful ass daughter, then you have job and bills and other. I'm not even complaining about the bills or anything like that because I know God always provides. I'm I'm always straight, but it's just damn. This shit. I love y'all so much. Oh, I love my community so much. I'm so sorry. I apologize to y'all. I am so sorry that y'all are seeing me like this, right? And I'm so sorry I even considered, like, leaving. But I gotta do what's good for me. I gotta go do what's good for me. It makes me feel sad that I have to, like... Uh, it makes me... It makes me feel sad that I... I even think about leaving my my family, my online family. People I people message me on a daily basis. All right, y'all, going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share.
Thank you guys in advance. I have a whole group message of people that I connect to. And I love y'all so much. And, at the end, I'm really grateful for y'all. I just, I gotta do what's best for me. And I'm still figuring out what's best for me. Especially what's best for my child. This shit is like so, you know, guys don't know how anxious it makes me feel to make decisions around my daughter and around my baby father it makes me feel so it makes it gives me anxiety right because i'm trying to do my best to make the best decision so i don't perpetuate any generational trauma it's it's so many people have opinions of what i should do shit is just i feel like i have the weight i have so much weight and I've been holding it up strong. I've been holding it up strong. I don't know how strong I've been, but but it's something about the heart. When my heart is jabbed at, mm-mm, there's a whole nother energy that comes out. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I love y'all so much. I love y'all, but I don't know. I might have to I might have to figure out what I'm gonna have to do. And then and possibly just take therapy three times a week instead of two. I'm gonna have to figure this shit out because I can't do this. I cannot keep looking at this shit. I can't keep doing it, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Um, I'm a, What I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to still keep posting pictures of my daughter. Because, you know, she's so beautiful. And, I, you know, the world deserves to see her. And my community deserves to see her. Because y'all and my tribe deserve to see her. Because y'all did so much for her. And I appreciate everybody who sent gifts and everything and money for her. So I'm probably going to keep her page up. But I just... My page, I don't know. Y'all, I don't know, man. I, I got to reinvent myself. I don't even look the same. The pregnancy hit me hard. I'm getting over acne and blemishes and shit. I never thought I would ever see a day in my life ever again. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm so sorry. I love y'all. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Mm-mm. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Guys, I want to give a big warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey, guys. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it. <laughs>